So here is a 2D dual layer protection case. Here's the front and here's the back. Installation is pretty easy, but what I would recommend you to do is to take the uh, tough polycarbonate off the back and then apply the one plus three into the flexible TPU as such. And the way you do that is to first put in, you know, the top or the bottom. So push that in and then just push it down on the sides. And then there you go. Then, like I said, put the tough polycarbonate back on the back where the cutout areas is and just push it down. You should hear it click and then there you have it. So that's the installation. Okay, so the design of this case, I think this case is very beautiful. Um, it has the two different textures. The back texture to me uh, feels like some kind of plastic rubberized um, kind of texture or something like that. It's smooth, but it's not too smooth. It has some stability to it, definitely. Um, and then you have this other layer right here, which kind of feels like um, a smooth but harder rubber, um, but both of the layers are hard. Um, the size right here to me is what offers the more grippiness because it has like these slips right here So it's not like even with this smoother layer right here It's not like it's going to fall out of your hand or anything like that So I love the design of it. Um, it's also very slim as you can see it does have some bulk But it has necessary bulk for the dual layer protection so As far as the convenience and accessibility it has an open access to all of your important ports such as your 3.5 millimeter headset jack the microphone, the USB-C port, the speaker grill, and on the back it has access to your camera sensor, your flash, the microphone. But the cool thing about it is it's submerged in about uh, about a sixth of an inch or an eighth of an inch, so you definitely won't be uh, damaging your camera uh, when you drop your uh, one plus three in this case. Um, you have your uh, power idle button right here. It has like these rubberized buttons for uh, buttons like this and the volume marker up and down. And then you have, um, it's submerged inside uh, for the alert key, but it still has cutouts around the side so you can still access it as you can see right here. And yeah, so it has open access to all of your important ports as you can see. Additionally, as you can see, uh, it's open on the front, um, not necessarily too open, so you should be able to at least apply a screen protector. I'm not sure of a timber glass screen protector, but I will try that and upload um, a picture or something like that so you can be able to see that when I get my timber glass screen protector. So I'm gonna do a drop test right here on this surface from about three to six feet, and then I'm gonna take it out the case so you can see if it sustained any damages, so. Here it is. So I'm gonna drop it right here on this hardwood surface about three to six feet. So now I'm gonna drop it on this surface about three to six feet. Okay, I'm gonna drop it here three to six feet. Right here, three to six feet. On this surface, three to six feet. Here, three to six feet. So about here, three to six feet. As you can see, the case took a little bit of damage right here, but overall it's still in great condition. It still looks good. So yeah, definitely a very powerful case. If I didn't add, the back part of the case is used to stabilize your one plus three inside of the case itself with the other um, flexible TPU part or whatever. And that is why I recommend uh, taking this off before uh, putting it inside of the case with this part first and then this part second because it holds it in place. So it's hard to put in you know, with both layers um, active. And here are some viewing angles. Enjoy.